Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm wrapping up this mini book documenting our summer slash beginning of fall adventures. Um, my family and I took a four day camping trip to Lodgepole, so you'll see some more Lodgepole. I did go ahead and insert some video footage here of our trip. Sorry, it's super shaky. I was super hyped up on Sudafed <laughs> for that weekend. Um, but this was a hike that we took up Morrow Rock. Um, you climb a little over 300 feet, 400 steps um, to the top of this rock. It was amazing. My boys and I went together. Um, this just kind of gives you an idea of the, <laughs> the type of trail that you're hiking up. And then once you get to the very top, you have a full 360 degree view of the Sequoia National Forest. And it is beautiful. I mean, this just kind of gives you an idea. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. It wasn't super hot. Um, just to get to see down into the valley there. So, so gorgeous. Um, and then after that, we went down... Um, the hill to Crescent Meadows. So here you can see the sequoia um, redwood trees and this giant meadow that you can walk through. Um, my boys being boys collecting sticks and rocks and things <laughs> while we were out there. Um, and then back at the campsite, we had a blast. My husband convinced the boys that they could start a fire on their own. So um, I wish we had told them this the first night because they spent the next hour sitting here totally occupied trying to start their own fire, which don't worry, they were in, not even close to doing that, but um, they were just getting a little wild and they needed something to occupy them. And so this kind of got them to sit and be entertained <laughs> for a little bit. But um, we had a really, really, really nice time. We, like I said, we spent four days out there. Um, it's one of our favorite places we found to camp. If you'll remember at the beginning of the summer, the boys and I took a solo trip out to Lodgepole. Um, and so this was the same same campground and we got to go all four of us and both dogs for this weekend and this was kind of our wrap up the summer trip so i'm going to document actually two spreads today so this is going to be a longer video but this is going to finish out this mini book for me so i have pulled out a bunch of things i've got some papers here from my um, august wild hair kit i have some products from the october or no september and october so those those stickers there are the patio party collection from my October kit. These are some cut aparts from the October kit. And then I also pulled some just straight colored paper from my stash. So I'm trying to bust through these three months worth of kits. Um, the first two months I got deluxe kits and then October I got a petite kit that just had some cut apart papers and some stickers and some alphas um, that really went well with my last two months kit so I can kind of bust through and finish all this stuff up. So I have this photo of my husband and Connor. Um, this is totally my husband's personality. I realized I didn't really have a whole lot of pictures of him because he hadn't been on many of our trips this summer and so I told him to turn to me take a picture and this picture of him and Connor is just hilarious so I wanted to make sure that I got um, that printed pretty big on this uh, left hand side of the spread and then I pulled out one of those color cast designs um, wood veneer pieces that was in my October kit from the wild hair kits um, and then these thickers were from October and they have kind of a vintage gold style on one side and then a rose gold on the other side and I'm going to layer up some tissue paper behind this photo. Uh, I wanted to keep it in those blues, greens, and browns and um, not, not too busy behind the photo since black and white, it helps in allowing you to use whatever colors you want in the products, but it does seem to add a lot of texture to the photo. And so I have to be careful that I don't get the spread too busy when I've turned the photo to black and white. So I also went ahead and did all of my journaling for these two spreads on my computer and then just print them out on cardstock. And we weren't sure that this trip was going to happen. If you'll remember, my husband was in the hospital for about a week. Um, he ended up getting an infection from what we think is a bug bite and it turned into sepsis in a week in the hospital and so he'd actually gotten out of the hospital 
just a few days before this trip, but we had this trip planned for months and months and months. And so he was still needing daily dressing changes to his wound. So we got to have fun doing that in the tent and it was hot, but um, some of us thought we were kind of crazy or some people thought we were kind of crazy to go camping after all of that. But um, this particular campground has full showers. It has like a grocery store. It has, you know, flush toilets. It's not like roughing it camping. So he stayed back at the tent with the dogs while the boys and I went hiking and did all of our adventures and things. And so it really it was really a good time for us to get away and escape. There is no cell phone service or Wi-Fi up there. So after that week and a half of just crazy with him being in the hospital and stuff like that, it was kind of nice to just escape and get away for four days. So um, I did some journaling about that down down below there. And um, when I cut apart the cut apart sheet, that um, butterfly, that strip of butterflies was the branding strip from one of the patio party papers. And uh, save your scraps because that was just laying on my desk and it made for the perfect layering piece behind that color cast designs um, wood veneer piece. And then here is the wild heart cardstock stickers. This was from my August kit. And I'm going to try to use up. This is the most I have ever used up a sheet of cardstock stickers. So I'm trying to finish it up here, use that as some layering pieces behind my journaling and things like that. So on the other page here, I have photos of my boys. Um, I believe this was like the third night, maybe second night. I don't know. One of the nights we did s'mores every night. And so I have a picture of each of them. Um, and I did them. I printed these. I believe they're three and in three inches by three inches, so pretty big. Um, I don't know about you, but I really love documenting in a traveler's notebook size. I thought it would be really awesome to do because not a lot of people on YouTube are documenting in this size, so I thought it was kind of a niche that I had found. But now that I have completed this book, which I then had to ring bind because it was getting so full, I really am feeling like these smaller pages are not quite big enough for me to get good size photos. So I think I might be moving to six by eight albums after this. Let me know what you think about that down below. Um, but I just want to print my photos a little bit larger. So I might do some simpler projects in a traveler's notebook, but um, for big things like this, I think are going to end up in a bigger album from here on out. But I'm doing the same thing over here, just layering some tissue paper behind these photos and then backing them with some solid colored um, paper from my stash, trying to stick in those blues, greens, and that kind of natural wood color. Now, because I printed these so big, they did not leave a lot of room for my journaling. So I'm actually gonna turn these into pockets where I can tuck a tag into with the journaling. That way I can get um, quite a few photos on this spread. So these, pieces here are from the cut apart sheets from the patio party collection that I got in my October kit from the wild hair kits and they didn't have any tags that really matched what I was documenting here so I took these three by four journaling cards and I'm just going to use one of the tags as a template to cut this down into a tag shape and I tried to pick ones um, that again were in those kind of colors that match this nature feel of this spread so that one there says hello sunshine and then this one down here with that wood grain um, wanted to keep it pretty simple I love those patio party papers but they had these bright florals and things that just didn't really go with this fall camping that we were doing so I had to kind of work with what I had there so this one here says stay a while and I'm just making sure that those are going to work to tuck into those pockets go ahead and punch a little hole at the top and then I received some blue twine in my kit in September so I'm going to use that um, just to add some fun detail through the top of that tag and once again I did cut um, or print and cut the journaling and so I wanted to make sure I documented that um, Connor loves s'mores that's something that he really enjoys doing when we're camping and Aiden hates them so he likes to just light marshmallows on fire eat chocolate that's it um, he announced during this trip that he really hates camping uh, so it's kind of unfortunate for him because that's my favorite thing to do so um, once again I wanted to document even those not so great moments of him just kind of being a grumpy guest the whole weekend and we had to sit down and have a Jesus talk at one point just to get him back on track and 
Um, I think we just all have been under a lot of stress and we're really tired and, you know, camping seems like it's a fun vacation and it is really fun. We really enjoy it, but it does take a lot of work and it does take a lot out of you. So he was, he was a little grumpy. So before I attach those to the page, I've gone ahead and pulled that page out of the book. That's one nice thing about having it ring bound like that is I can take them out and work on them kind of individually. And then I have this stamp set from Pink Fresh Studios. This was in my August kit. And I'm gonna use some Gina K uh, Jelly Bean Green ink to stamp these florals. And so I wanted to kind of tie in some of the greens. And I love that the stamp set had these um, leafs that really went well with that paper over on the left hand side um, of the spread there so you can see i am doing some ghost stamping so i'm stamping full impression and then um, stamping it off so that i get kind of a variance of color and texture and most of this will be covered up by those photos but it just kind of keeps it from being a plain white uh, page. Now that ink is a dye ink, so it is kind of bleeding through this paper, but that's okay. I already knew on the back side of this, I was going to attach another photo. So I'm not really worried too much about that. And so now I can go ahead and start kind of adhering things down and putting it together here. So I'm going to use some score tape. This is one eighth inch, super, super thin double-sided adhesive and I'm only going to apply this to three edges of this photo because like I said this is going to be a pocket for the journaling and um, this is a really really strong adhesive um, and I like that it's super super thin it's a little bit difficult to get the backing papers off but like I've mentioned in some of my other videos I keep these eyelash tweezers in my craft room and they're kind of a staple they really help for applying alpha stickers and taking the backing off of things um, and really work well for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down. You can see the tag just slides right in there, no problem. And now I have kind of a little interactive element to the spread there and it allowed me to have my journaling but still have really large photos. And then now I can take the left-hand side and I worked on the pattern paper most of the way and then I can just go ahead and adhere all of that down to um, the page in the notebook and then just re-punch the holes so that allows you to be able to stamp and things like that and not worry about the chunkiness that might be behind um, that page that you're working on and you can kind of work on it and then adhere it into the book go ahead and re-punch those holes and yes, this is a mini book now, not a traveler's notebook insert, so it doesn't really fit in a traveler's notebook system, but um, it allowed me to document all the way from April to September, um, and we got quite a bit packed into this book here. So at the top, I'll go ahead and add my title. I'm just gonna spell out Lodgepole, that way I remember where it was that we were camping. I am obsessed with these uh, thickers. They are the perfect size, and I love that you get an option of this kind of, um, worn vintage gold or the rose gold on the other side and so i can spell out longer words like lodgepole and everything will fit um, on that four i think it's four and a quarter uh, wide page there i'll go ahead and pull out another one of those color cast design wood veneer pieces and now it's just kind of dressing it up and adding some stickers and things really at this point just trying to use up product so um, i'm going to go back to this wild heart collection of cardstock stickers and there's tons and tons of pieces that really work well for all of our um, camping adventures and the colors really work well so there's this wonderful sticker stick that down and then i will layer um, a gold heart kind of pull in some more of the gold it's not the same gold that's on the left hand side but that's okay i I don't worry about mixing and matching metallics. It doesn't bother me. I find this little word strip here and layer that behind the color cast design piece. I'm trying really hard not to hoard these, but it's hard because they are awesome. And I, um, I don't know, I tend to hoard products like this that I really like, but that's kind of one nice thing about documenting photos and things is I feel like those projects are worthy of nice products that I love. I know that sounds silly, but um, yeah. So we'll come back and we'll take a look at that finished page, but we're gonna get a bonus. So I'm gonna add a second spread. So this is a longer video, but I did wanna just finish up our trip in this book all in one go here. So these are some photos that we took from the top of Moro Rock. And then we also hiked down to Sherman Tree once again. Um, and so I had wanted to print that one photo on the left-hand side 
the full size of the page and then just keeping it simple on the right hand side so I'm going to not use any pattern papers, but I do have that stencil over to the right hand side. That is a Vicki Booten stencil that I got in my September kit and I'm going to use some iced spruce distress oxide ink. So this is kind of a grayish green color that kind of matches the colors of um, these photos. And I'm just going to take a makeup brush. This is just a wet and wild from the Dollar Tree <laughs> makeup brush and I love using this to apply ink through stencils because you can kind of get a softer feel to it um, and get some variance in how dark or light the color is. So I'm just going to use, um, this stencil has like a larger splotch of each design and then a smaller splotch of each design. So I'm going to kind of mix and match those behind the photo. I'm wanting to keep it fairly light because I don't want to distract from the photos. And this is really going to wrap up our summer. I am so excited to have all of these photos documented in here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been struggling with my health for several, several years. Um, I've had migraines since I was a child. And this summer I was going to the UCSF headache clinic and they finally have found some injections and treatments that seem to be helping. And so this summer we were able to do so much more than I've ever been able to do. And so I just love that I can flip through this book and just see how many different adventures we went on and all the different things that we did. And um, my kids are 11 and I probably have only printed maybe less than 10 photos in their entire lifetime. I'm one of those that takes digital photos and they never get printed. And so that's one thing I've loved about being on all these different design teams. Um, I know it may look like I'm trying to sell you product, but that's not really it at all. It's really holds me accountable because I have a certain requirements or certain projects that I have to come up with for these design teams. And and it's really pushed me to be more intentional about documenting our trips and documenting things and, and sharing photos of my family. And I have printed so many more photos just this summer than I have in their entire lives. So I love that I've been able to do that. So for this other side of the page, we're going to keep it really simple. I've pulled out some stamps from my stash and I'm just going to stamp directly onto the photo. So there's this large space of sky up at the top and I'm just going to use a stamp positioning tool. That way I make sure I don't mess it up because <laughs> I don't want to have to reprint this photo because I don't know if you know this, but photo paper can get a little bit pricey. That was one thing I wasn't expecting when I dove into this project. So um, I have printed this. I think it's four and an eighth inch wide by eight and an eight inch tall and that fits in my uh, mini book here and I am going to stamp I believe it says the view from up here so I went ahead and picked that up on the lid of the stamp positioning tool and then I am going to stamp using some stays on ink this is a permanent ink that's meant for stamping on slick surfaces like a photo so you do want to use either archival ink or stays on ink when you're stamping on your photos and that just adds some interest over to the left hand side. So same thing, I've just backed those photos with some tissue paper, used those um, thickers, added my journaling. So I threw this in here because it was a pretty simple spread. Go ahead and finish it up with the date stamp and that is it, this book is done. So I will be sharing a flip through very soon of this whole book so you can see all that I've packed in here. Be sure to head on over to the Wild Hair Kits blog to check out more close up photos of both of these spreads. Uh, leave any questions or comments you might have down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to head on over and check out the Wild Hair Kits and order a kit for yourself. They have really made it easy for documenting all of our adventures this summer and I already have tons more photos headed into the fall like I said I think we'll be switching to the six by eight album so let me know what you think about that down below and until next time thank you so much bye bye